26 part anthology. All right, guys, just got to see ABCs of Death last night in LA. Um, it was a part of the AFI Film Festival. Um, unfortunately, that was the only movie I got to see, but it's a little bit early. I guess it's coming on VOD at the end of the year, and it's going to have a really small uh, theater release uh, in March at some point. The movie's not really made for your average cinema goer. So, the ABCs of Death, the concept's pretty simple. They got one pr director for every letter of the alphabet. I guess they sent them $5,000. Uh, they were having a little panel discussion after the movie. And they let them do whatever they want. You know, they just assigned them a letter and the money. So basically you have a very wide range of stories. And some are good. Some are pretty awesome. And then some are, you know, just either over your head or just, I thought, kind of stupid. They were a little too comedic or something like that. Overall, the tone of the entire film, I felt, was a little more towards the comedy side than um, I expected. I expected more like a grotesque horror movie and there's plenty of grotesque stuff but um like it definitely leaned towards i thought the funnier elements even though you have some films one's kind of like a parody of the serbian film i thought a little bit at least it was intended to make fun of it or those type of torture movies and then you have your one that's like a giallo style uh, you know with the bright colors and it's all kinds of stuff in this movie you have the director of the hobo with a shotgun ty west has one in here it's pretty good he does m for um miscarriage uh, there's one called dog fight. That's really good. That was my favorite one. And at the end it was cool. They brought the guy with the dog in um, Because I guess the guy that plays in the thing is actually the dog's trainer in real life But besides that there's one Problem with it. I mean that like I said, there's some definitely some good ones out of 26 um, The one problem is you know, there's no core story you to never follow. get involved in any characters. There's no story development um, It's basically like a miniature film festival you watch, you know 26 shorts uh, all with a central theme, which is horror, sort of, most of them. And there's no development, no nothing. Like, the ones that aren't good aren't good at all. I mean, you could tell the ones that people like because people were clapping in the audience. Um, like I said, the dogfight one was probably my favorite. Uh, the Giala one is called uh, O for Orgasm. That one's good. Um, Xavier Jens, who did The Divide and um, Frontiers, uh, has a really good one. His is exceptional yeah that's a good one but they have like all kinds of stuff the guy who did the serbian film has a movie uh one in this one it's r for removed uh that one's cool that one's cool but it was kind of over my head um and there's a couple of japanese directors in there those ones i didn't like so much the style they made them more like comedic and i don't really get that japanese Bro, i liked too much. it to watch um, it as you know one time showing it might be fun to watch with your friends when you're drunk or something but it's not really a movie it's a bunch of shorts and i you know, it's a double-edged sword because you don't get any character development or anything, but it lets filmmakers make these crazy, you know, three-minute movies that, you know, they could never sell as a, you know, complete feature film. And it was funny at the panel discussion, the one guy asked, is it going to get a major theater release, like a mainstream theater release? And like, you know, 70% of the people laughed because the content in this movie is pretty extreme. Uh, like I said, some of the stuff verges, you know, a little bit towards the line of Serbian film. Not the Ser the guy who directed the Serbian film, but another guy made one similar to it. Like I said, kind of makes fun of it. There's some pretty, you know, there's TNA, drug use, all that stuff. A couple of them are, have like kind of like a meta feel where they knew they were, you know, they got a hard letter. So they were trying to figure out how to do that. You know, those were funny. So you get everything in this movie. You get gore. You get a lot of comedy. Um, a little bit of the comedy is a little obscure, you know, foreign comedy. Um, you know, not everybody's taste. Definitely it was kind of an up and down roller coaster. Throughout, you got your good ones, your bad ones. There's probably something for a little bit of something for everybody. Um, you know, any type of horror genre you like pretty much is represented. Um, although I was surprised that, you know, like V wasn't vampire or, you know, Z wasn't zombie or, you know, those are, I guess, too easy to do. They wanted to go out there a little bit and do some kind of weird ones. G is a weird one. That that one I didn't like too much, but it's gravity. Literally every visual style is represented. And just for that, I think... And the experimental quality of the movie, I really like that part of it. I'm going to give it 3.5 out of 5. I think you're going to want to check it out if you're like an obscure horror fan. Just because it has so many directors and some of the concepts are pretty cool for the shorts. Alright guys, take it easy. Um, if you do watch the movie and come back and watch this video, let me know what letter you like the best.